I mean, you spent quite a lot of time alone in the jungle. You ever get alone out here? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the first 15 years we were doing this, we there would be times that JJ would be busy in town with his family and I would, for sheer love of the rainforest, I would have to come alone out here. And we didn't have running water. I didn't have running water. I didn't have lights. All I had was a couple of candles in the darkness and a tent. And I was 20 something years old living in the Amazon by myself. Your boat sunk. And yeah, it's incredibly lonely. I, I had to learn through experience because I thought there was a period, I think when you're, you know, you're young, as a young man, I, I, I had this thing, like I wanted to prove that I could be like the explorers. I wanted to prove that I could handle the elements that I could go out alone, that I could have these, these deep connective moments with the, with the jungle. And it's like, I did that and that's great. Mm -hmm. And you know what the kid from into the wild learned right before he died in that bus, that if you don't have somebody to share it with, it doesn't matter. But uh, uh, some kind of like even just deep human level, like even if you have somebody to share it with, you ever just get al alone out here? Just like this sense of like existential dread of like what, you know, the jungle has a way of uh, not caring about any individual organism because mm -hmm. it's just kind of churns it's like it makes you realize that life is finite quite intensely hmm. yeah for, for for me it's comforting being out here because i find the the rat race the national narrative the 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 need to make money, the to worry about war, to to be outraged about the newest thing that that politician said and what that actor did, and and it it just there's always just this just unending sort of media storm, and 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 everyone's worried, and everyone's trying to optimize their sunlight exposure and find the solution and buy the right new thing, and to me coming out here. First of all, I mean something out here because I can help someone. I can yeah. help people. I can help these animals. And so I find my meaning out here. But also, you know, there's the losing the madness over the mountains. It's, it's nature has always, and for many people, been where things make sense. And to me, I think I'm a simple analog type of person that it makes sense that when it rains, you get in the river to stay warm and, and you, you know, you wait for the dawn and you see a little tree snake and, and you say, it just, it just, it makes, it makes more sense. And I think that the, the, the overwhelming teeming complexity that is inside the, the ant mound of society can be dizzying for some people. And I think that maybe it's the dyslexia, maybe it's just that I love nature, but, um, now if I, when I land in JFK, I, I feel like a frightened animal. On, on, like it, <laughs> yeah. like it's, it's as if you yeah. as if you release like a like a some animal that had never seen it onto like and into Times Square and you could just imagine this dog with its ears back running away from taxis and mm -hmm. just just cowering from the noise and it's just hustle and bustle and people are brutal and how much you want it for get in the car you know screaming over the intercom and just everything everything sensory changes and Let's get home. Okay, let's go. You got a meeting. You got to get to the next place. You got to give a talk. You got to sign. Out, out, out here. When we finish up here, what are we going to do? We're going to eat some food, maybe go catch a crocodile, <laughs> go walk around the jungle at night. Like it's yeah. slower. It makes sense. Yeah. And, and there's that, again, there's that deep meaning of, of, of that here where we can be the guardians for good. We can, we can be, we can hold that candle up and, and know for sure that we're protecting the trees from being destroyed. And it's that simple thing of just, this is good. There you go. It's simple. In society, I feel like everyone's always losing their minds and forgetting the most basic of fundamental truths. And out here, you can't really argue with them. You know, when we needed water, it was like, shit, if we don't get water, we're fucked. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's to me, that's where the camaraderie comes from because mm -hmm. no matter what, We'll be, we could go to the most fancy ass restaurant through the biggest, most famous people in the world. Doesn't matter. 
we still remember what it was like standing around in the jungle going, fuck, we're scared and we don't have water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got reduced to the simplest form of humans and mm-hmm. that's, and that's something and we survived and that's, and that's cool. And you take all the, all those people in their nice dresses in their those fancy restaurants and you put them in those conditions, they're all going to want the same thing as water. And yes. It's all the same thing. All the beautiful people. <laughs>